click this video it means that you are probably interested in becoming an optometrist so here i am i'm going to be giving you guys the pros and the cons to studying optometry in nigeria and i'll be relating it to other countries <music> Hi guys, my name is Sylvia. I am a optometrist based in Nigeria and I'm going to be giving you guys the pros and cons of studying optometry in Nigeria and I'm also going to be comparing it with other countries. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. First off, the timeline. How long do you need to stay on this course? How long does this actually take to study this course? In the US, you have to undergo a pre-med program which lasts for about four years. After that, you take a qualification exam. On passing this qualification exam, then you cannot proceed to optometry school. After that, you take another qualification exam to become an optometrist. Okay. In Nigeria, it differs. It takes a total of about six years to study optometry. From high school, you take a qualification exam, which could be the JAM, the NECO, and your NAPTEP. After that, you get an admission into an accredited school to study optometry. This lasts for about six years. Then you take your clinical exams, your professional exam, which is also called the board exam, and then you can become an optometrist. As we can see, there are different timelines depending on the country. To pick the best university in Nigeria is extremely important that you carry out a very good research on the different schools that study optometry. As at now, there are over 10 schools that are studying optometry in Nigeria. So you research and you pick your best school and then select what suits you best. You can go for a private school, you can go for a federal school, you can go for a state university. This CCS consists of different varieties of courses, practicals, clinical exam and professional exam that will make you qualify to carry out this practice. Now the fees break down. There is a very huge difference between studying in Nigeria and studying abroad. For Nigeria, it varies depending on the university. The price used to study in a private university differs from a federal university and differs from a state university. And like I pointed out in my previous video, it is way cheaper to study in a federal university than to study in a state university. And it's also way cheaper to study in a state university than to study in a private university. So it's private, state, and then federal. The tuition in a federal university ranges from about 40,000 Naira to 50,000 Naira. Tuition in a state university ranges from about 120,000 Naira to about 150,000 Naira per session. And the tuition in a private university is higher. And now for the abroad, specifically the US, from the research carried out, it shows that it takes way higher to study optometry in the US compared to Nigeria. The difference is highly significant. For a session, students are required to pay about $11,410. To sum this all up, in Nigeria, you get to budget about $156 per session, but in the US, you get to budget about $11,410 per session. Up next, the equipment. As you know, optometry is a very practical course. Therefore, along the line, it's expected that every student should familiarize themselves with some particular instruments. These instruments are necessities that are used in the practice. For starters, students are required to get simple and movable instruments such as a retinoscope, the ophthalmoscope, and a trial lens case. In Nigeria, around the fourth year, a student is to start his or her clinical classes. Around this time, the student is required to have all these instruments in place so that they can use it to practice. This instrument ranges from about 450,000 Naira to 500,000 Naira per student. But in the US, it is slightly higher as this instrument ranges from about $200 to $220 per student. So there's a slight difference in the prices of the instrument in Nigeria as compared to the abroad. Up next, we have the learning environment. There is a huge difference in the learning environment in Nigeria compared to the ones abroad. Also, there is a difference in the quality of education given in Nigeria compared to the ones abroad. It's no shocker to know that the schools abroad are provided with way more quality and way more learning facilities compared to Nigeria. But this does not mean that we are poorly equipped. For a school to be accredited, it's expected of the school to be well equipped and also have standard lecturers on ground. Schools abroad are provided with good learning facilities and a very adequate and appropriate learning environment that will make students comfortable to learn and assimilate better. 
compared to the ones in Nigeria. Now in Nigeria, there are also equipment and standard lecturers that lecture on the course optometry, but there are some shortcomings that are present. For example, the learning environments that are being provided for students are not really as adequate as they should be. Basic necessities that are needed for students to be comfortable sometimes are absent in some Nigerian universities. Some learning environments in some schools are very, very awful, and as a that can reduce the performance of a student. Also, there are no much practical and extensive use of instruments compared to schools abroad. But the standard of education generally is okay, and as that, you can also study here. These are all the points I have today on this video. To get more infos and tips on what to do and how to study optometry, follow my page. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and you guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.